Welcome back to our channel, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we have a captivating and spine-chilling topic to discuss, the alleged creepy last words of the famous London ex-gangster, Dave Courtney. As always, we strive to bring to you the most thought-provoking and intriguing content, so let's dive right in. London is no stranger to tales of notorious criminals, and Dave Courtney's name surely rings a bell for those familiar with the city's gritty underworld. Dave was an enigma, an ex-gangster known for his larger-than-life persona and unimaginable tales of the dark side of London streets. However, it is the eerie final words he reportedly shared that continue to send shivers down the spines of many to this day. To truly understand the weight of Dave Courtney's last words, we must delve into his extraordinary life. Born and raised in London's East End, Dave's involvement in organized crime saw him rise to prominence within the notorious Adams family. His colorful past included run-ins with the craze and his role as a security consultant for the underworld. However, as faith would have it, Dave Courtney's life took a dramatic turn leading him down an entirely different path. One of the most gripping moments of Dave's life was his controversial documentary, aptly titled Shooters, Guns, and Money. In this documentary, he not only revealed the inner workings of the criminal fraternity, but also offered remarkable insights into his own life. It is during the film of this intense project that Dave's alleged creepy last words would forever edge into the pages of London's criminal history. Many speculate that Dave Courtney's creepy last words came during a chilling scene of the documentary, where he delved into the supernatural aspects of his life. As Dave recounted encounters with ghosts, unexplained phenomena, and strange occurrences, he cryptically muttered, in the end, the shadows come for us all. These enigmatic words sent shockwaves through the documentary crew, leaving them questioning the true meaning behind Dave's statement. Was he foreshadowing his own faith or simply sharing his beliefs about life and the inevitability of death? Dave Courtney's creepy last words ignited a firestorm of rumors and theories throughout the city. Some speculate that he was passing a warning to his former associates, while others think it was merely a theatrical move by an individual known for his larger-than-life personality. Despite the ambiguity surrounding their meaning, these words have undoubtedly added fuel to the legend of Dave Courtney. While the controversy surrounding Dave Courtney's creepy last words may never be fully resolved, his life leaves behind an undeniable legacy. From his memoir to his appearances in movies and TV shows, his larger-than-life personality resonated with audiences around the world. Dave's experience provided a unique window into a world most can only imagine, and his alleged last words forever remind us of the haunting power of the unknown. So, there you have it, folks, the mysterious and unsettling alleged last words of London's infamous ex-gangster, Dave Courtney. As always, we strive to bring you the most fascinating content here on our channel. Let us know in the comments what you think about this captivating topic and if you believe in the power of eerie last words. Former gangster turned actor Dave Courtney has died, age 64, in his southeast London home. Courtney tragically took his own life in the early hours of Sunday, a statement posted to his social media account said. The ex East End gangster shot himself with a firearm at his Camelot Castle, home in Plumstead, the statement said. His family asked for respect during this period of mourning, it added. The day before his death, Courtney was pictured smiling at the valley as he watched Charlton win 4-0. The ex-criminal enjoyed the full works of the Valley Stadium, eating a three-course meal. He was starred in gangster films the Dead Sleep Easy, and Clubbing to Death. He was jailed in the 80s for attacking five men with a meat cleaver and has claimed he was the model for Vinnie Jones' character Big Chris in Lockstock and Two Smoking Barrels. Courtney often focused on his links with gangsters such as Reggie Cray and Lenny McLean, 
and has claimed to have been shot, stabbed, and had his nose bitten off as part of his dark past. He also claimed to have been involved in debt collecting, minding clubs, assault, contraband, and murder. He wrote several books, including Fuck the Ride, in which he claimed to have been found not guilty in 19 separate trials. Courtney was cleared of attacking his wife Jennifer Pinto over an alleged lesbian affair in 2004. The Metropolitan Police said officers tended an address on Chestnut Rise at around 11.25 a.m., following reports of a man found deceased. A 64-year-old man was pronounced dead at the scene, the four said. His family has been informed. Formal identification has not taken place and the death is currently being treated as unexpected and is under investigation. No arrests have been made, the Met Police added. Tributes have flowed for the actor on social media. Actor Terry Stone wrote on Facebook, He always had lots of funny stories to share and was always the life and soul of any party. What Dave did for me was he gave me my first break into acting and he was a really good friend of mine when I was promoting One Nation and Garage Nation back in 1990s. Others said they were shocked and heartbroken over Courtney's death. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss another captivating discussion like this one. And until next time, stay curious and keep seeking the remarkable.